Hi, I'm Teresa Garrett. I hope you enjoy my hosting reel. Welcome to Festival USA. I'm Teresa Garrett, and today I'm in Albuquerque, New Mexico, where people are gathering from around the world to celebrate America's most celebrated road, Route 66. Now usually festivals honor barbecue or cheese, catfish, crawdads, or even garlic. So celebrating a road is a bit out of the ordinary. However, Route 66 was called the Main Street of America, and it inspired riders, it awed travelers, and it started our love affair with the automobile. Good morning, everyone. You're watching CTFX Frontline only on Wise Trade TV. I'm your host, Teresa Garrett. Please let us hear from you this morning. If you have any questions about automating your trading, just let us know. Give us a call, 1 9493 Now, or Harris, say, you've shown us how to build a strategy and backtest it, but how do you build a show and backtest it? Well, Teresa, we needed to start off with a good foundation of Forex market analysis. Okay, that sounds good, but how do you backtest that? Well, we can watch the on-demand over the last two weeks. What are we going to call it? We'll call it CTFX Frontline. I like it. Okay, let's watch it and see if it kicks. This may look like something out of a tropical paradise, but with a little help and a full day's work, I put this water garden in in just one day. And it's not as difficult as you might think. You can use a regular hand saw to cut the planks, but we're using a compound miter saw to make our job go a whole lot faster. So I need to measure this at 20 and a half, cut it out. Plus you can rent the compound miter saw for around $35 a day. So it'll be well worth it. And it's a good idea to wear safety goggles anytime you're using a power tool. Let me line this up. We've let this mix for just a couple of minutes, and this consistency is just about perfect. So the next step is to start shoveling this into the form. Now we've mixed this up just a little bit stiff, so it won't take very long to dry. Welcome to Chili Pepper TV. For those who like to eat the heat, I'm Joel Gregory. And I'm Teresa Garrett. Today we're cooking hot and spicy with Paula Lambert, the award-winning cheesemaker and proprietor of the nationally renowned Mozzarella Company in Dallas, Texas. Paula's spicy southwestern cheeses have changed the way that America eats, and we'll see why when she shares some of her favorite recipes. Joel, maybe we should tell them where they can find these quick and easy, wonderful recipes. On the World Wide Web, www.hotsites.net. Please be sure to join us next week when we cook Chilorianos for those who like it hot. And remember till then, eat the heat. Bye-bye. Today on How That's Made, host Teresa Garrett, the art of making wine. Hi there, I'm Teresa Garrett and welcome to our show. What is it about wine that tempts our taste buds and drains our pocketbooks? This is where it all begins, where the grapes are grown on vines that, believe it or not, have a pedigree. Now, in America alone, almost a million acres are under cultivation. That's 1,400 square miles, which, by the way, is larger than the state of Rhode Island. What's your favorite wine? Oh, Steve, the Muscadine wine was very good, but like most Americans, I am a little partial to Chardonnay. What else should we see how it's made? I'd like to know how they make cars. Great idea. Yeah. Until then, I'm Steve Easley. And I'm Teresa Garrett. Thank you for joining us. The car idea is a great idea. I'm thinking Ferrari here.